My Life as Robert, Book One, Early Jets, 1951 to 1965. The Golden Lighthouse. Robbie, do you remember when you lived in a little blue house trailer outside the Air Force Base? Your mama read you little golden books. A book about colors, blue, yellow, red, green. You wanted to eat the colors. A book about a lighthouse, a book about zoo animals, a monkey, a giraffe, an elephant, and a zebra. Listen as I read you the story of the Golden Lighthouse. One day, Robbie's mother took him to the top of the Golden Lighthouse, and they both looked over the handrail at the Air Force Base spread out below with its square houses and white roads. It was such fun, but there were zoo animals running around the observation deck of the lighthouse. And they thundered past Robbie and his mother many times. He held fast to her hand. His finger pointed at the animals. Mother, will they bite me? No, they're afraid of us, she said. See, they run away. Now stay here, little man. I'm going downstairs to buy a pack of cigarettes. When she was gone, the boards started to vibrate. The animals were coming around again. He cried, Mother, hurry and come back. The animals will run me over. But she was busy downstairs in the gift shop. The kind lady behind the counter was showing her many kinds of cigarettes. Up on the observation deck, the animals appeared and ran toward Robbie with their terribly frightened eyes and their long, sharp teeth sticking far, far out. This is a damaged book, little man. Remember when you tore at it and put the last page in your mouth? Hi. My name's Douglas. A boy in a t-shirt and shorts stands behind the picket fence. Want to see my yard and look at my toys? Okay. Robbie goes in at the gate. Douglas shows him around. There's a wagon, some swings, and a patch of sand where toy trucks have made roads. Robbie squats down and rolls them along their roads and over rough spots that make them turn over. My dad is real important at the base. My mom's nice, too. We have a TV. It's brand new. It's a Motorola. Want to come in and see it? Yeah. The boys climb inside the trailer. Douglas's mom sees them. Well, how do you do? Douglas has a new friend. What's your name, hon? Robert? Robbie tries to smile, but it feels wrong. Douglas's mom wears a pretty dress and apron. The place is too clean. Mom, I'm going to turn, turn on the TV. Robbie flinches, expecting him to get slapped. You just go right ahead, sweetie pie. I'll pour you both a glass of Kool-Aid and make some nice sandwiches. And that's it? She isn't going to yell at him to keep his paws off the expensive TV? Douglas puts his hand right on the TV knob and turns it. A greenish picture slowly phases in. The speakers buzz. A man in a suit appears on the screen, holding up a box of detergent and talking. Robbie notices the handkerchief sticking out of, the, out of his front jacket pocket and wonders if it, if it has snot on it. Douglas stands next to the TV, smiling. See? Now watch. He clicks the knob and the picture shrinks into a bright greenish dot in the middle of the screen. Douglas's mom smiles as if she likes doing that. Come have your Kool-Aid, Robert. I made jelly and peanut butter sandwiches. She ruffles Douglas's hair as, as he runs and jumps into the wooden chair next to the beautiful polished table that has a lace doily in the middle. With a vase of flowers, Robbie walks slowly toward the table like in a science fiction movie. 
Douglas's mom ruffles his hair too, and he jumps back before she can hurt him. He tries to smile at her. The sandwich, the sandwich is of course delicious. He doesn't get sandwiches like that at home, but the crust of the white bread has been cut off. Some of the jelly gets on his face because the crust isn't there to stop it doing that. He sees Douglas's mom wiping his face and Douglas liking it. He could be next, and she might not be so nice. So he quickly wipes the jelly off with his hand and wipes the hand on his pants while she isn't looking. After the boys get through and run out the door again, Robbie says, You know what sometimes hangs on fences? Cocoons. Let's look under the boards. He glances out at the desert just then, takes a big breath of hot, dusty air, and smiles. He knows things Douglas doesn't know. As Douglas excitedly follows him to look at the wiggly, cringing things under the fence boards, Robbie sees one of the toy trucks next to the patch of sand he's passing and ticks it. The little men he imagines riding in it are all killed.